<laughs> Back to your planning. Um, obviously, you knew there were dangerous places that you're gonna go into, you know, cycling around Africa. What were your contingency plans in handling these events? Did you have any plans at all? Yeah, I mean, I look at some of the places you go and you're going, God, yes. you know, this is a war zone. This is a civil Hot war spots. here. Yeah, how did you go through that? How did you plan for something like that? Yeah, you guys touch on something that I think is um, relevant. I think the, the thing that I also battled with before I left on that bicycle trip, Fusty remembers the one interview. It was a Saturday morning um, breakfast show on on one of South Africa's famous talk shows. And it, like, it was well listened to and with a famous DJ. And I remember when I'd finished with her, it was a short interview, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then I, I said to first afters, I felt it as if that DJ was mocking me because she was asking questions which I probably didn't have very good answers to. And I just realized that naivety that bothered me at the time. Janet, what you mentioned now is why did I go to those places? Um, not because I knew how dangerous they were, um, it was a combination of me being stubborn and determined, if you could combine those two characteristics, and then also um, m- matching that with a solid, solid dose of naivety, just a good old-fashioned naivety, <laughs> not really knowing what, what the Liberian War is about. You know, remember seven, eight years after I was captured by the model rebel group in Liberia, that's the time they only made the movie called Blood Diamond. Right. That's when people sort of saw an idea of what was going on in sure. there. I was oblivious to it, man. I'd seen on CNN and BBC of children and 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 um, children soldiers and um, people suffering and amputees and um, the war in Angola. And to me, it was just flicking the channel. I'm not saying I was heartless, yeah. but we've all done it. You flick the channel to the eight o'clock sure. movie. Is that real? Yeah. Life goes on for you in your little your little first world space. 